everybody, I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to part two with the incredible Terry Burland. Are you ready? I am. Here we go. Let's go. Okay, so let, let, let me ask you this, and I don't know, maybe we kind of touched on this a little bit, but I was daydreaming. Um, <laughs> or you. night dreaming, depending on the time, <laughs> right? Um, what, when you hear back auditions, Okay, what is it specifically about some of the auditions that you listen back to that really catch your ear, like right off? There's what what characteristics really catch your attention? Just that the person really is connecting. They're they're all there. They're not like talking out to air. Mm -hmm. There, it it feels like they're connecting with someone. That's very good. Yeah. I, I hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. I had a session today, and I was telling the person that, who are you talking to? It sounds like you're talking to air. Mm -hmm. And and that's you could really hear when mm -hmm. somebody's not talking to anybody. So that's really important. Yeah. Um, anything else that kind of really stands out too besides that? I mean, flubs, uh, mispronunciation of words or anything like that that aren't good or... Well, you definitely want to learn, know how to say the product name <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. um, you know, but people, they make mistakes, and that's understandable. And, you know, we just have our little mouse to click and, right. and you know, okay, do it again. And, and sometimes they just get in a rut. I mean, the best of the best. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'll say, let's just stop it because it's going <laughs> to be too much for me to clean up and edit. Just take a couple of breaths mm -hmm. and let's start again. Okay. Very good. There are a lot of voice talent who are crossing over into on-camera commercials. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I know there's some people I know that are like, oh gosh, I don't know, I don't get the headshot, and I'm, I've been behind the mic. And, but what advice would you have for someone who's been primarily voice talent, who wants to maybe branch off into commercial, because there is so much crossover so many times that if they hire you as the voice, well, let's have you on camera too. Uh -huh. So what advice would you give to someone who was thinking about making that leap? Um, you have to have patience. Yeah. My advice is you have to have a lot of patience. It takes a lot longer than a session. It takes a lot longer. You know, it's a full day to shoot it, but even the auditioning process, mm -hmm. it's, you know, you because there could be a lot of different characters in that day or bringing in four people at a time so the waiting room is like full of people and right. your audition is very very important but we because of the budgets now they're they're so much lower they squeeze us in and they don't give us a lot of days to cast so mm -hmm. we know how to get you in the room very very efficiently to get the nuances that our director is looking for which are usually uh, beats and transitions. And so you might not feel that you're so important because we bring you in the room very, very quickly mm -hmm. and very efficiently and get you out of the room quickly. And it's not that we don't appreciate you or respect what you're right. here for, but it's just the way. <clears throat> so it's a different game. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a different animal, the on camera. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you know, to really expect that more time difference. consuming, right. a little bit more competition, maybe, right? Um, a little bit more competitive than voiceover? <clears throat> it's actually less competitive. <clears throat> you're against a lot of people, but it's easier to get an on-camera audition mm. than a voiceover one. Wow. Yeah, I, you see more people. Jory, are you getting in it into uh, on-camera acting? Uh, I mean, you're you behind should. the camera. You Why not should. be in front you of the camera? You have such a great oh, look. You can do it. You look Terry at him, says you have a great look. <laughs> we really looking. want our cameraman. He's amazing. All of our amazing graphics he's, he's are show <laughs> open. This is Jory, and we want to well, get... He needs to be we on camera, <laughs> damn it. Okay, so he's going to get an on-camera audition, and he's going to have to leave and be gone from here mm -hmm. for... A couple of hours. Yeah, but then is you're going to okay come in. You? You're going to come in and help us out, Terry, <laughs> on the weekends. Okay, deal. When you go out and a do weekend. your little, on no, the weekend. No, no, no. no. <laughs> do not take Terry's weekends no. away, no matter no. what. She mm. will not stand for mm. it. So let's talk about this wonderful book. This is in its third edition. Mm. Congratulations. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you you co-authored this with Deborah Olette. Uh, it's breaking into commercials. 
the complete guide to marketing yourself, auditioning to win, and getting the job. You have a it's you have a fantastic chapter about voiceover. Yes. But what I love about it is that I mean, obviously, I do on camera and voiceover. But what I love about it, even the on camera designated things, are so crossoverable. I make up words. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's a good one. It's cross part of my term. Um, but it's it's really got so many universal principles and it's really wonderful um, Jason Alexander did the foreword so mm -hmm. good um, what what is it about this book that inspired you to write it and where did where did you guys each each revision I mean what's different about this third edition well what uh, this book the first one was 17 years ago mm -hmm. and at the time, I used to go all around the country to a lot of talent conventions and um, because they were so much fun. <laughs> we would just like agents and casting directors from all over the country like would go to yeah. these conventions and we had a blast. Yeah. <laughs> but we went to really cool places yeah. too. And so I would meet people all over the country and um, you know, get to know. I felt that my, I had the pulse on what was going on mm -hmm. auditioning wise all over the country. And it was very inspiring to me that um, there's actors every place and somehow they find work. Sometimes they travel, like if you're in Florida, you have to travel from one coast to the next and yeah. it's a four hour commute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, or you're in Atlanta and you'll go right. to North Carolina. Right. So, um, and, you know, I love actors. I really do. So, it, it, I had to write this book. I had to help people and mm -hmm. let them know what I knew. And so that's how it happened. And then, of, pretty cool. of course, this edition, I mean, there were thing reference in the old one to answering machines. Yeah. And the first one, a pager. Ooh, I mean, a pager. <laughs> there'd be there'd be generations of people going, "What's a pager?" I know. What's a pager? Google, what is pager? I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I started casting, by the way, I in the eighties, and the fax machine just came in. Mm. Oh wow! And so that revolutionized that things. Was, yes. At the time. I was in New York City, and we used to call each agent. Wow. And give them the breakdown. So I remember for voiceover, like calling an agent, explaining it, and then they'd give us names, we'd write them down. So we said, the first day I remember, let's try this fax machine. <laughs> and we stood, I was this little assistant, <laughs> and we stood in front of this fax machine and saying, look, it's coming in, the piece of paper, it's coming through. <laughs> Wow. Sorry, so but <laughs> it's great. But I mean, you have really, you have continued to evolve and yes. reinvent and embrace the changes. And so, how yeah. do you stay on top of it? How do you, how do you develop your business, your team, with all the changes and the trends? You just, just by being aware. Um, I know that I was part of the trend to make the reads sound more real. Um, people would come into my office and I kept giant clients because of that. Um, was just that something that you, I no one say told that, me. Okay. You heard it. You heard this no doesn't sound like me. what people sound like. I just said to myself, it just has to be, there has to be a little less announcery mm -hmm. and a little more humanistic because I understand the characteristics right. that the different companies want and really no one else was doing it mm. you know the there was no such thing with the agents of make it sound real make it sound yeah. real you know they were still doing announcer now it's like the most common four letter word yeah. on the planet real Absolutely. Keep it real Being Keep four it real. letter word and what's interesting is someone who's extremely real mm -hmm. extremely cannot do a non announcer announcer who who sounds a little re real yeah. So oh, there's there's that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, um, from your studio. Yeah. I'm sure. Yes. Oh, you've yeah. heard you've heard it all, oh, Chuck. Gosh, Durant. are you kidding me? Yeah. Between you and Terry, um, you guys should this, write a book. Yeah, I gotta say though, man, when people come to me for demos and stuff like that, they they they're they're schooled and they are ready, and it's such a pleasure to work with people that are prepared, mm -hmm. you know, for that big step. But yeah. I want to let everybody know. 
how they can get your wonderful book yes. because they need Thank to read it, it multiple yeah. times. So <laughs> you. Um, you said earlier that they can go to Amazon.com. Right, they, mm -hmm. and they can also go to where else? Uh, did you Skylight say? Bookstore. Skylight in, Bookstore in Los Angeles, and it's all around the country. And right. if it's not in the bookstore, Amazon. Amazon yeah. has everything. Good old Amazon. And my website has it too. Yes. They wow. can Click on it and get it through Amazon. On Berland Casting. Beautiful. Berlandcasting.com. Okay, perfect. Breaking into commercials. Yeah, it's really Terry Berlin good. And Deborah Olette. Mm -hmm. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Love it. Absolutely. Good. You teach ongoing workshop, workshops in L.A. with Nick Omana, mm -hmm. and you go to Florida, you go to New York. What's coming up that people can get involved in, whether it's in L.A. or around, and where can they, is, is going to Berlin Casting the best way to figure out? Yes. Uh, well, Berlin Casting has a section that is Voice Print West, mm -hmm. which is an entity of my company. Okay. okay. Uh, voice Print West, and um, I actually have a core, I'm sorry, I have a home read and self-direct coming up mm. in August on a Saturday, awesome. um, and that's for seasoned voiceover talent, mm -hmm. just to, you know, really check out fine the <clears throat> fine-tune, the yeah. connecting, and the nuances, and um, I have an agent that comes in the last three hours for okay. that. And then um, Nick and I have a core level, which is an entrance level, because of just what you were talking about. There's so many on-camera actors who want to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a lot of sessions where they haven't done voiceovers. And they stand in front of that mic, and it's such a rush. They love it. Yeah. And yeah. they all walk out, and they say, this was really fun. Like, I really like this. Yeah. 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 And just because of the story I told earlier or the last segment, <laughs> you do have to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely, without a doubt. So the core level actually um, gives you very strong foundations, and it explores. Like, there's so many different venues. There's radio, TV, narration animation, mm -hmm. uh, promo, promo, video games. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So besides techniques of what to grab onto, what to do with your voice, it gives everybody the experience and um, they start seeing what they're strong in. Not mm -hmm. everyone is strong with everything and you yeah. don't have True. to be. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. go to voiceprintwest.com and check that out and see where Terry's going to be and maybe she'll be coming to a Absolutely. city near you. And if you tell her that you saw her on Vio Buzz Weekly and that she was yes. amazing, <laughs> she might even spend a little extra time with She you. might sign your book. <laughs> <laughs> she'll sign your book. <laughs> exactly. But you have to buy it first. first. <laughs> um, Terry, what do you still love about being in the industry? I love that um, you you get a breakdown, I get a breakdown, and then I don't know what's going to happen. And I put the word out, and I love how it starts taking shape. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, I love hearing the great auditions. Of course. Um, I love being in, it's a community. Mm -hmm. I love being part of the community. And we're all in relationship. You might forget that doing your home reads so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but we are, and I love booking someone. And I don't like, you know, when I've put someone on a veil and I have to release them. Oh. It's it's just at that point, yes. it's a crapshoot. Yeah. It really is. Well, we don't like that either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially yeah. the ones that last for a week. You're like, don't. Ah, it's so yeah. good. And yes. um, I write for. Um, it's called The Networker. Yeah. So good. And one of my favorite articles was um, re rejection should not be part of your vocabulary. I don't, when I have, if I have four people on a veil, mm -hmm. the three people that I released, I don't think of them as being rejected. They right. just didn't get it this right. time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or I'll have, you know, fifty people in on a session and forty seven were really fantastic and they didn't get the avail. It would never enter my vocabulary that the other people rejected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They yeah. just didn't they get just this didn't one. Get well, you know what, yeah. and I say this so, all the time to myself and anybody who's, you know, wow wow about you know, just getting an audition. 
is a win. Mm -hmm. Because when you think of, for example, mm -hmm. you get 400 submissions. Right. And only 50 people get to even be heard. I mean, that's a win in and of itself. Yes. Because it is about building relationships. And maybe you don't get that one, but, but maybe there's another one. Or you're memorable enough that you're remembered for something else. And it's right. an ongoing thing. It's yeah. not just that one yeah. thing. I mean, it's a marathon. Your job is auditioning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, you want a book. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. um, but your daily job is auditioning, so it's a blessing that you're getting all these yeah. auditions. That's yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. What do you think have been the keys to your success? Um, I think that I love what I do, mm -hmm. and um, not only what I do, but I love what actors do and talent, mm -hmm. and it's just so amazing to me. Um, Sometimes I'll talk to actors and they'll say, I can't do what you do, you know, and I say, mm. I can't do what you do. Um, so I, I think it's just really loving what I do and being really interested in people. Mm -hmm. um, I love when I start having a conversation with someone and something, little piece of information comes out that I didn't know. And what's really interesting that mm, over the years I might just have a minute to two minute or three minute conversations with the same person like over the years mm -hmm. and all the bits of information like adds up <laughs> and yeah. I know the person yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah well you are definitely an actor's best friend you yeah. always yeah. there's always such respect and your and your whole team I mean your office is such a beautiful place and everyone mm -hmm. you really do feel like everyone's going yeah and they're rooting for you and you just you clearly are just such an asset to our industry and, and mm -hmm, you you always absolutely. make it so calm oh i do and <laughs> and you feel like excited you to come may in. not be calm I mean, but everybody else it's, is um well it's interesting the audition day i'm usually calm mm. it's the prep day right that i'm very very stressed and if you see me in the reception area racing to one place to <laughs> another stop like you. looking yeah. straight ahead and i was friendly you know the four other times you go hi terry and i go, mm. so don't don't don't, <laughs> yeah. and, don't hold that against her read the energy it's read it's um <laughs> really because i've something very stressful you know I just got a very stressful phone call mm -hmm. and I'm trying to take care of it right um, and it actually happened to me with a talent and the next time I saw her I said I think I was really rude to you that last time you know I was really she said oh no I understand <laughs> like <laughs> yeah I yeah. understand have you ever even for a second thought about being on the other side of the camera or no, I no, ever? I know I have a character voice, yeah. and people have asked me. Um, Will you do your video tips, which are very mm. informative? Is that the extent of it? That's the extent, okay. and they're hard for me to do. They are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's been cracking us up I know. all day long. She's a comedian. Um, this oh. isn't even easy for me to do. It isn't. Really? Well, you seem very at home, so that's very very. Do you cool. think you're introverted by nature? Um, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get it either. That's what makes her funny. I know. She doesn't even know you're that warm she's funny. And charming and lovely. Yes. I, what do you think, if you're, if you're talking to our audience, what do you think it takes to be successful in the business? Today. Today. <clears throat> well, it definitely takes tenacity. Mm. Um, you have to be, you have to really know your craft. You have to, you know, take classes, keep sharp, keep being in workout groups, whatever it is. Um, and you have to be social, you have to, you know, be open to all the internet stuff. And you mentioned earlier that, especially like in your reads and stuff, not to be bland, not to be oh, invisible, to be, yes. you need to be, right? Thank you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Neutral, neutral, on bad. camera, like when I teach on camera, when I teach voiceover, like neutral doesn't cut it. Like no. we don't know who you are. So you have to take chances. You have to reveal yeah. who you are um, within the right parameters, of yeah. course. Well, do you but, feel like the misconception is real means neutral, bland, boring? Oh. Do you think that that's maybe where there's confusion that real means I just need to be... Flat. Um, I, I hope know. not. Yeah, I hope that not too. doesn't 
yeah. mean that? To me, real means personality, colorful, conversational, right? Sometimes it's for voice, it's where the talent places their voice. Like they'll be talking to me, hi, you know, oh, I'm so glad to be here, you know, blah, 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 yeah. I read the copy. Then they get in front of the mic and sometimes their register then goes up like to the top of their throat. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it changes. It changes. And their voice changes and I don't hear the other particular characteristics in their voice and, and you know, I'll say, whoa, let's just stop. Like you change the entire placement of your voice. Talk to me again and um, they have to adjust that placement because mm -hmm. if they go like this, you're you're like something's cut off. Rather than this, it's more open. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good, and I hear yeah. that all the time. Yeah. Too. Well, it's like you okay do. now, yeah, and, yeah. but I think it may be nerves, and then you lose your breath support, yeah. and and it, everything yeah. tightens. Yeah. Again, you go from talking to a person to talking to air. Yeah. And you, that little transition there is like, whoa, wait a minute, what just happened? Exactly. Yeah. It's not real. Not real. Anymore, because I'm, I'm not hearing the that's particular gonna be, yeah. nuances. That's going to be the, 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 your next book. It's not real. <laughs> just be real, would you? Yeah. <laughs> keep on keeping it real. <laughs> I came up with that, so you have to give me credit. Oh, okay. Um, that's that's fantastic. Terry, thank you so much for coming on the show. We know how busy oh, you are. Such Welcome. a pleasure. Thank we you so much for your patience. Yeah. You're so lovely. Oh. Thank you for entertaining us. <laughs> you were very, very funny. Um, this has been an amazing show. I know that you guys got a lot of stuff out of what Terry said, and, and this is coming from somebody who doesn't think she knows that knows. She's in the business today, not used yes. to be in the business, but is today. Every day. She's one of the top of the top, so take everything that she said and write it down and read it over and over because that's what's going to help you get out there and kick some butt. And send that email in with that little tidbit you got to info at voiceprintwest.com and you may be selected for that half hour coaching session. Woo woo, unless I get it first. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Hi everyone, Terry Burland here and I just got buzzed by Chuck and Stacy. I love this show. I watch it all. I you're not going to believe this. I actually watch every episode, and I'm so excited to be on it. All right, well, there you go. Don't ever say that we never <laughs> gave you anything, because we gave you a lot. All and right? Terry gave you even more That's than that. That's right. That's right. So that concludes our uh, presentation here with the uh, wonderful Terry Berlin. But we are going to be back next week with another episode for you. Yes, we are. And after you've submitted your email, remember to go to Amazon and get her book, Breaking Into Commercials. You need to read this. It's amazing. Yes, you do. Keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest at Leo Buzz Weekly. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have time, time for a little buzz. buzz.